Hello, I'm Marco from Axel Tech. Today we're going to talk about SCT-35 triggers, uh, SCARI-35 also as they are known. So first of all, let's see how to set up a SCARI-35 output uh, workflow. I have an X-Play out here. I'm entering the settings, I go into trigger session, and the first thing you have to enable your SCADI 35 on IP output. That's important. Um, second thing, I'm going to pull up a trigger here. Sorry, let me see. Uh, a trimmer. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define some uh, mm, triggers as secondary events um, associated to video clips. So I've created some XML file. I have a start XML file. And this is a typical SCARI 35 syntax where it says, uh, you know, uh, program splice, splice immediate flag, and so forth. And I have a stop trigger, which actually stops the splice and cancels the trigger. Okay, um, syntax varies according to the ISP provider, uh, but you can, you know, define your own XML file and put whatever information you want inside the XML file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two clips here. One is uh, uh, the peg file is just normal, uh, maybe uh, start bumpers and stop bumpers you put in your brakes. So I'm going to open the start bumper and simply in the extra section, I'm going to associate the start XML file for the SCADI 35. And I'm going to do the same thing for the stop one. And I'm going to associate a stop XML file for that one. So then I'm going to go back to the play out and I'm just going to get the start, get the stop, put it on the playlist, verify that these have inherited these uh, secondary events. And there you have it. And this guy is going to verify that he has it as well. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play. Next thing I'm going to do is going to the IP streaming section. I'm going to stop everything. As you see, I've selected SRT. A SCARI 35 uh, can be used in SRT or UDP. I have my encoder here, AC, so I'm broadcasting. And I'm actually uh, sending this SRT stream to another computer, which is on my LAN, but of course, you can go directly to your ISP provider on the cloud. I'm going to put auto start start and I'm streaming. So what happens is whenever a video clip goes on air, it has a secondary event defined for SCARI 35 and the SCARI 35 is going to go out on the IP streaming. Oh, one important detail, I'm going to stop. In the IP format, you have to enter the advanced settings and actually define this parameter. Embed underscore SCARI 35 instead of false, which is the fault. I'm putting it to true. And that enables the SCARI 35 to actually go out on my IP output stream. So I'm going to go start. Okay. I'm going to press the auto start, so the system auto start, actually when the stream goes down, automatically restarts again after one minute, so you're sure that your start will always go. Okay, so theoretically speaking, my SCADI 35 triggers are actually being output on my IP output stream, but how can I verify that? So essentially what I did... Uh, well, of course, you can send it to your ISP and ask him directly, are you receiving my triggers? Or there's a nice utility, a nice tool uh, 
on the internet. I use that a lot to to actually uh, do some testing and debugging. It's called TS Duck. It's a utility which allows you to capture, transport, and SRT streams, and it has features in order to log also uh, SCTE45 streams, SCTE45 triggers. So it's part of that. If you want to play around with the utility, it's kind of good. The other way to do it is to actually get another machine, install an X playout. Let's see it. Oh, this is my other machine here. Okay. <laughs> Let me clear everything. And set it up to receive <clears throat> your SCT SCADI 35. How do you do that? <clears throat> Entering system settings, I go in my lines input, and I define the line zero, which is the background uh, input, the one which is on air when the X play out is in stop mode. And I define it as a URL or a file. And when I go into the settings, I actually define it as an SRT listener. So this guy will be able to receive that stream. I will enable the SCT SCADI input for SCADI 35. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to associate some a string, some parameters to trigger a play. So let's see. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to open my start XML, which is the one I'm broadcasting. Show more options. Edit. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the splite immediate flag, this guy over here equal to one to trigger my play. So I go over here and I actually take all this out. Text box is small, but you can put any text. I'm gonna paste that in there. Then what I'm going to do, oh, sorry. Then what I'm going to do is go back to my character file and the stop command. I don't know, I'm going to use something else here. I'm going to use the cancel event the splice cancel indicator equals to one when I receive this guy. Control C, I'm gonna put it here, take this out. Okay, take that out and I'm gonna paste it here. So when when in the SCADI 35 uh, XML file which is coming in, I find the splice command, I'm gonna trigger a play. And I'm going to get a um, uh, cancel, cancel, scary third command. I'm gonna trigger a stop. Okay, so I already set it up. When you do that, you just look in your black. Oh, he's already receiving the SRT in the live preview window. Uh, whenever a scary 35 message comes in, I want to show you in the log folder, you get a um, a log, which is called the last SCT message, SCADI message. And if you look into it, you can see actually what's coming in. And this is updated continuously. So you get one or the other message, which is coming in. So now, when I load the playlist, what happens is when a SCADI 35 message is coming in, it'll play. It already triggered that. And you can see up on the top also, uh, with yellow, a yellow label and when another message comes in which is a stop command there you have it the stop command came in so let's see it again at the end of countdown a start command comes in and it will play there it is executing from SCT 0 ex executed and that's the play command and when a stop command comes in there it is that's your stop command coming in you'll also get some some extra information in the logs. So that's your SCUDDY 35 in XTV Suite. Thank you so much.